How's it going everybody? It's Dustin, Delaney, and Natalie here. And it's auction, auction time. time. So we're super pumped today. We are at an abandoned storage unit auction. It's our first one ever. And we're excited. So we got about 15 minutes for the auction starts. I uh, have no idea what to expect, but hopefully we can get our hands on a storage unit today. So we got five storage units for auction today. So one of them's pretty well empty. Two of them definitely look more crappy than the other. Two of them look pretty decent. One of them looks pretty good. You can see some pretty good stuff in there. So surely not very many people here. Let's see how it goes. How we do this thing? We're gonna start like a number order as much as we can. And what we'll do is we'll auction it off and take your name, you write your name down on the unit you have, and then right when we get done with the, all of them, you need to pay the owners right here, Greg and, uh, and uh, Randy over here. You can just pay them cash right away. You got till tomorrow, tomorrow evening, to get this all cleaned out. Make sure you clean, clean it out, sweep it out, where it can be rented again. You understand? Any questions on that? It's pretty simple. We'll just go pretty easy with this and uh, uh, just, uh, but yeah, just take it home, take care of it, everything, the trash and everything. Just, just take, make, make sure nothing's left. They want to rent them, that's why we're selling it. They weren't being rented anymore, evidently. They're just not being paid. So yeah, that's why we're here. So, uh, hey, how are you? So anybody, anybody got any more questions on that? Nobody? All right. Write your name down. Yeah, I'll just write your name down in the unit and uh, we'll go from there. Then we'll have that list for him and, and uh, and then he'll get you. Uh, you'll get you pay them right away after we're <coughs> done with the sale. All right. Oh, that, we're just going to use uh, use names. All right. All right. On number number three right here. Number three. Somebody give me three hundred dollar bill now. Three three number three. Give me a hundred dollar bill. Twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollar bill now. Twenty five dollar. Twenty five dollar. Twenty five now. Thirty. Twenty five. 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 Twenty
two is going to be 45. Anybody 50? 45, 50, 45, 50. Sold, 45 dollars. And it's Gilmore, right? What's your first name again? Jim Gilmore. How many Jim Gilmores are there? Several. There's only one pretty one. That was forty-five dollars. That was number three. All right, you got set. Set your sights a little higher. It's a little bit better deal right there. Number four now. Number four. Number four. Some of you two hundred dollar bill. You do it. Two hundred dollar bill now. Two number two. Two hundred dollar bill now. Two give a hundred dollar bill. You can do it. Gonna be hundred. Hundred. Gonna be hundred dollar bill now. Fifty. You can do it. Gonna be fifty dollar. Fifty dollar bill. Fifty dollar. Appliances ain't worth nothing. If it is seventy five on the bill, if it is seventy five, eighty 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 Thirty, eleven, twenty, thirty. Thirty, eleven, twenty, thirty. Thirty, eleven, twenty, thirty. One, twenty, thirty. Anybody else? One, thirty. So, one, twenty. Your way. One, twenty. Thirty, eleven, twenty, thirty. 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 Thirty, eleven, twenty,
You want to know half the living in the one fifty, one fifty, you want to put half the living in the one forty five and fifty, one twenty five, fifty, one twenty five, thirty five, thirty five, thirty five. Now one fifty. Forty five, fifty five, fifty five, fifty five, fifty five. You want forty five and fifty five living in forty five and fifty five. So one forty five. And your name? Ted. Ted? 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 Ted?
Oh, you should. Really? <gasps> Singer. Isn't that the type of music? Oh, yeah. Oh. Any other drawers? Or those are drawers. Oh, they're fake. first load loaded just uh, first impressions I think we did pretty good so this is a uh, singer sewing machine that's some kind of antique cupboard uh, they're both in really good shape there's a cedar chest in there uh, that's an electric fireplace uh, that lawn dart deal that's probably worth a little bit hopefully the washer and dryer work and uh, there's boxes and boxes and stuff. So we're gonna go home and unload this. We gotta come back, get the rest of it, get the unit cleaned out, and then we're gonna go start going through the stuff. And see what we got. Well, we made it back with our first load from the uh, storage option. So the plan is, I'll probably go through this box by box as I take it off the truck because. The store is still full from the last five or six auctions of stuff we haven't gone through. So that's the plan. And uh, the trash, I'll just take straight to the trash. The stuff I'm gonna take back to another auction, I'll just go ahead and box up now. And uh, whatever I put on eBay, I'll put it separate. So that way when I bring it in here, it's already sorted through and uh, it's not like all the rest of this that I've still got to sort through. So anyway, I think we did pretty good on the, on the uh, container though, or the storage unit. So anyway, we'll get to looking through it. So we've gone through a few boxes, carried some stuff in, come across a lot of trash as expected. Got a pretty good box of tools here though. That thing's trash, but got a grinder. I think there's a drill down in there. The sander ain't worth much, but it's something. Bunch of files. Soldering iron. Okay, we'll keep digging. If I come across something cool, I'll show you. Okay, we're back in the same box of tools, and I dug a little deeper, and I come across this crazy little hatchet. It is a true tamper. Tommy X. Quick little search on the interwebs, and apparently those are pretty rare. Uh, and one with a decent handle is fetching 75, 150. So, good little score here with this. Uh, I've never seen one like that with a nail puller. Apparently, it's a carpenter's hatchet. So, good little score. And uh, I haven't looked this one up, but it's some kind of. It says plum on it, some kind of, it's a hammer. I don't know what, if this is supposed to be for some kind of, I don't know. I'll do some looking on that one, but I thought I'd show you that ax or that, that little uh, carpenter ax. That's pretty cool. Here's something else that's pretty cool. It's an old cupboard of some kind. It's locked. I ain't got no key. And there's something inside of it I can hear few things rolling around but I don't want to tear up the door to get it out because this looks pretty old got a pretty cool design on the front but I ain't got no key 
I need to figure out how to pick that. So, I may have to watch some videos and see if I can figure out how to pick that lock. Okay. We've uh, went through everything on the truck. All this stuff is trash. Um, there was quite a bit of trash, but what do you expect? So, the washer and dryer, we'll take those to the house and plug those in and uh, hopefully they'll work. If those work, we'll double or triple our money on the whole deal right there. So then everything else we have is just extra. So no earth shattering discoveries, nothing like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. But there's, we got a pile of decent stuff, everything, all this is good enough to resell. Some of it won't bring much nothing, but we're going to take it back to an auction and sell it. Consignment auction. There's really not much to put on eBay. Just a handful of things, really. So, but we still got to go back. There's some, a few other things that are keepers. The rest of it is trash. And uh, that's part of the deal. You got to clean all the trash out and sweep it out. So we're going to go back. Get the rest of the trash, sweep it out, and uh, this should be it. But I feel like it's pretty successful for our first storage uh, unit. So I uh, learned a lot of lessons. In my head, I convinced myself that if there was anything good in these storage buildings, the people who owned them would have gotten it out. But talking to several people there who do go to a lot of storage auctions that's usually not the case well we're back to finish the dirty part cleaning up the uh unit and getting the rest of the junk and uh this junk trash 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 some more trash and there's a few good things left over here but we knew that when we came we wanted to get the good stuff out in case somebody Help yourself to somebody. So, brand sweeping it out. And uh, we're going to get out of here. So, our first storage auction is in the books. Uh, it was a success. The washer and dryer both work. So, we'll be able to sell those for, I don't know, I figure three times what we paid for the whole unit. So then we got a bunch of stuff we're going to take to a consignment auction. Um, I was really hoping there'd be some good stuff we could maybe get on eBay, but not really. I think we're going to send most of it to the consignment auction. A few things we'll put on internet auction, uh, like the probably the lawn darts. and I found a real cool uh, shoe shine kit. It's got an old box and the whole thing. And there's probably 10 or 12 things we'll take to put on the internet auction. Then uh, the rest of it's going to consignment. But it's a good experience. The people beside us, the unit beside us, that the one that the couch was flipped over in, they said they got nothing out of that unit. It was all trash. So they didn't pay nothing for it, 40 bucks or something. They said it's going to cost like 30 to pay to have it to pay at the dump fee so there's a losing deal there but they said there was literally nothing salvageable in the whole thing it was all covered in mouse crap and and then it was junk to begin with so somebody probably just rented it long enough to stack it full of crap and move on but so we definitely picked a better unit than they did but well hope you enjoyed today's video me and Brant gonna head to the house haul this stuff off to the dump and uh, if you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, please do. If you already have, we appreciate it. And we'll catch you on the next video.